What kind of society, what kind of being eats their own child? It's a shocking painting, maybe the most shocking ever. A crouched, wild-eyed, black-lipped Saturn, having already chewed off and swallowed his son's head and hand, readies himself to take part of an arm. As you look at this, be aware that Goya did not name the painting, nor is it likely he intended it ever to be exhibited or even seen at all. It is so named because of its subject matter and the similarity to this red chalk sketch, Time Devouring Men, executed years earlier. Saturn devouring his son was painted in Goya's old age, when he was sick, deaf, and had withdrawn to his house, the aptly named Villa of the Deaf Man. He painted this and another 13 of his so-called black paintings directly onto the walls of this house, where they surrounded him in his mental isolation. This one was in his dining room, a further chilling touch. Goya had seen the consequences of the do-nothing king, Charles IV, his unnecessary wars, economic despair, and then the even worse reign of his despotic son, Ferdinand VII. Goya had witnessed Spain fall to Napoleon. He painted the 3rd of May 1808, my very first video, in its own way a shocking and harrowing description of war, waste and loss. Following this, he had produced a series of 82 prints, The Disasters of War, each reaching deep into a psyche wounded by what he had seen. The ongoing sacrifice of everyday people to a cause which, in the end, replaces one set of poor rulers with another, nothing much having changed in the long run. On top of that, he had, for the entirety of his lifetime, the ongoing background horror of the Spanish Inquisition. He had seen much, far too much, and it had affected him and many others. He had the ability to reflect his inner state in art. He had begun to see others, his fellow citizens, as caricatures of people, caught in their shallow pursuit of pleasure and things, or caught up in religious or political mania, sacrificing their fellow citizens, their friends and family to what? For what ultimate purpose? And then this. Having at first caricatured those around him, he slips further into seeing all too well and understanding all too much. Here is the misery of old age, seeing what is real, but nobody listens anymore. Watching each generation make the same mistakes, knowing that our children must carry forward the torch, but seeing greed and a lust for power in them, and also in older people too, unwilling to let go, unwilling to relinquish power, doing all they can to hold on, even at the expense of their own children. The original Greek mythology tells the story of Kronos, god of time, associated with a golden age, but also counting out the days of those, unlike Kronos, who had only natural lives, literally time devouring mankind. Roman mythology takes on the myth of Kronos, calling him Saturn. Saturn's rule is threatened by a prophecy that one of his children will usurp him. Rather than embracing and preparing for succession, who needs that if you're a god, right? Saturn eats each of his sons whole as they are born. Eventually Zeus is born and hidden and the prophecy is fulfilled. Peter Paul Rubens also painted this event. Both Rubens and Goya dispense with the niceties of the myth in which each son is swallowed whole and rather portray the event with more visceral horror. Rubens shows Saturn commencing at the chest but Goya takes us further along. With Rubens, we see the horror on the child's face. With Goya, the child, actually looking fully grown, has already had his head chewed off, and the drawn out act of consuming the future is portrayed in shocking, unwanted detail, partway through the meal. Saturn's clenching hands digging into his victim's spine, blood running, half-gnawed limbs ready for the next bite. 
his lips black with dark blood. Despite this shocking detail, it is the madness of Goya's satin which sends a colder chill down our spines. Unlike the Rubens, in Goya's painting we don't see the face of the victim. The head is already gone, so our focus can only be on Saturn's face. It is a face of terrifying madness, his purpose having boiled down to keeping his power, any semblance of humility, compassion, decency having been fully expunged, leaving someone willing to do anything, anything to keep his position. And the cost is not just his sons, it is himself too. For this will eat at his own soul, strip out his character, remove his sanity, and leave him a frenzied outcast with no purpose to his retained power other than just having it, to prove some point, long forgotten, to people who have already given up on him. Having placed himself at the centre, he has conversely become a lonely shell, an empty crazed vessel, a scream into the night with no one to hear it, for there is no one else, no friend, no comforter, no one to stop him or help him. Having chosen to consume his children, he is himself consumed by madness. Like the biblical story of Nebuchadnezzar, in his madness his nails have grown, his hair has become like a bird's nest, and his clothes have gone. But Nebuchadnezzar ate grass like the cattle, Saturn ate his children. We can look at art like this and read into it Goya's own state of mind. And yes, of course, we can draw those links. But far harder is to take a step back and consider ourselves. In our own mad rush to consume, in our own greed, in our own lust for power, we are despoiling our only home, ruining our children's inheritance, sowing the seeds of our own destruction. Having sown the wind, we are reaping the whirlwind. Yet we rush on headlong, filling our days with endless consumption, endless growth, as if we can ourselves outrun the ultimate consequences. What kind of society eats its own children? Goya was affected by the loss and waste of war, the evil of religious mania, the waste of poor decisions, the misery of greed, of lust, of self-centeredness. He saw with great clarity what we do to each other. He looked and painted Saturn devouring his son. Dare we look also? Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please press like. If you want to be notified when I put out more reactions to great art, please subscribe. See you next time.